Hello, Alder Figueroa here, and what we're going to be doing today, I'm going to show you how you could use Adobe After Effects to assemble uh, a speed painting. Um, before we begin, this video will not show you how to actually record for a speed painting. It will not show you how to draw for a speed painting. This assumes that you already have uh, used your software to uh, record yourself, either creating a drawing, an illustration, uh, computer model, what have you, but now you want to speed it up and present it as a finished movie. Uh, what I have uh, here, let me show you the, the files here, I created the screen recordings using QuickTime Player on a Mac. I am working on a Mac. QuickTime Player is free and there is a feature where you're able to uh, basically make a screen recording. So this was a vector illustration portrait that I created and I want to be able to speed up the entire process so that you could see uh, from start to finish uh, this illustration. So what we're going to do is we're going to use After Effects. I am using, as I mentioned, a Mac. So this version of After Effects, it's CS6. It's on uh, the Mac platform. So if you're using a PC, the controls will be very similar. If I say Command, you'd want to press uh, Control. If I say Option uh, for the PCs, it's going to be uh, um, Alt and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, some of the windows might look a little bit different, but that's okay, but uh, everything's basically the same. Uh, and also, the features that I'm going to be using in After Effects uh, should carry over to the newer version, uh, Creative Suite, and also probably to some of the more recent uh, previous versions. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I already saved my project, so but if you haven't, I always like starting off by saving your project. You do File Save As, so you could save it. Um, give it a name, location. I've already saved this project here. Uh, what I want to start off, I want to first create a new composition. Or Command N. Within this window here, I'm going to use these settings here. Uh, there is no preset, so you, that's why it says custom. For this video, uh, I'm going to create mine at 1280 by 720, which effectively gives me an HD video at 720. Um, sometimes referred to as 720p. If you want something higher, if you want to do a 1080p, there are different presets that you could use here. Uh, say, for example, that's HDTV 1080. Uh, but I don't want this one. I want to use the 1280 by 720. Frame rate, I had to select to be 24 frames per second. And duration right here. This is how long you want to start off with your composition. You can always come back and change this, but I'm just going to enter two minutes for right now. And the way that you read this time code, on the very right, these right here are your frames. So there's 24 frames, because I've told it to be at 24 frames per second, followed by minutes, I'm, follow, I'm sorry, followed by seconds, minutes, and then hours. Let's go ahead and select OK. So what we have right here in your project area, these are where you're going to have all your clips, all your source files. Down here in this window is where you have your timeline, plus you're able to adjust the individual clips. In this window here, this is where you have your composition viewer, so you're able to see your work in progress. Let's go ahead and import some files. I'm going to go to tell it to file import. You can either do file or multiple files. I find that if you have files in different locations, uh, multiple files works good. Otherwise, just selecting file will be sufficient. So in here, I have my screen recordings. I already went ahead and went through them and color coded the ones that I want to use. I'm going to hold down on uh, my Mac command to select the files that I want. So I forgot to select 09, or color code it. So I'm going to tell it open, and you can see that it brought in these clips. Great. So now what I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead, and I want to bring in the first clip, which is this guy right here. Well, I'm going to bring it down here into my timeline. Great. And you can see right here that the duration for this clip, I'm going to go over in here 
in my project panel and I can see that the duration is 14 minutes and 35 seconds definitely longer than my two minutes I'm going to speed up this clip but before I do that uh, this clip that I have it has audio with audio you could click on this button right here it is going to turn the audio off if I'm really paranoid I could even click on this triangle down here to display my audio uh, settings and I could lower the audio level all the way down to minus 48 which basically puts it to silent but what I want to do I want to change the speed of this basically speed it up and to do that within After Effects you're gonna right mouse click over your clip right here I'm gonna select time and I want to select time stretch within this window here now you get to set a, a stretch factor uh, I want something small if I set say for example um, if you think that you're just like well great I want 200 this actually increases it so you don't want to do that I actually want this to just be 2 if you notice now this new duration is now 17 seconds and 13 frames about 17 and a half seconds uh, I find that these settings work good for me but I highly suggest that you test these out you can always come back here and change this I'm gonna go ahead and tell it OK and now you're going to see here within your timeline that this clip is only 17 seconds long it's shown visually by this little bar here anything afterwards uh, is nothing so I'm gonna go ahead within this preview here we have to create a RAM preview what it basically does is it's rendering out your video you can see how it's turning green right here and it's sending it's recording this to RAM to your memory so it, depending on different factors how much how fast your computer is how much RAM you have any other things this could either go fast or it could go slow this is not playing back at real speed because it's still building it I'm going to go ahead and stop this right here I'm going to go ahead and move my current time indicator to the very beginning and I'm going to press play or I can press spacebar and you can see the speed at, what it, at which it's going the whole idea of the speed painting is to show the entire process sped up so I like this speed so I'm going to go ahead and tell it to stop now I'm not done before these settings I need to adjust something else I'm going to go ahead and press command minus just to zoom out if you look closely my screen here is or my footage is larger than my display area if you want to scale that within this clip I'm going to click on the triangle next to transform I want to lower the scale right now the scale is locked which I want I'm going to click and just drag this and you can see that I could you could resize this I find that for me 94% uh, works good I will have this black on the far right and left I'm okay with that I want to be able to show the entire screen but now that I have these settings set what I'm going to want to do is do the same for all of these other clips and bring them in I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment to do that and then I'll be right back